Hello everybody, it's the Gaming Dad here and we are continuing LEGO Indiana Jones Original Adventure, 100% Walkthrough and Achievement Guide. In this video we are going to be starting free play of The Last Crusade. But before going on, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell notification to keep yourself updated. And if you could join my Facebook and Patreon, that would be greatly appreciated also. Anyway, the stunt for her, for Sir Richard, don't know why I said that there, like that, but well. Anyway, we're always going to choose the Bazooka Trooper because he's just great for destroying most objects. And first things first, we have got a Metallical Gate. Even though it doesn't really have any value. Anyway, we're going to choose our female character and jump up. We need someone to destroy the glass. Unfortunately, we have not got our usual suspect for breaking glass. Also, side note regarding the Super Screecher achievement, it actually looks like we cannot get the achievement for doing it on enemies. It actually needs to be the glass panel, so we're going to be grinding out at the end. Anyway, we'll continue on with moving on with this level. We've got some builder rolls to do. And we'll get this key. There we can go down and destroy everything we can. There's some enemies that we need to dispose of. And we've got some little cones to go by, so we're going to select our moped and drive over all these cones. Now we do need to get the key. We were trying to use our whip to bring it over to us because there is an achievement as we've been trying to go through. So we'll go over the bridge with the moped and we're back to doing the cones. And there's the next mini kit. So we need to build a hatch for a small character. And we're going to get that. Now this is where our red brick is going to be, so we need Indiana Jones first to pull it down. Thank you. 
So we're going to pick up the key from the cupboard and put it in this slot. And then we're just going to destroy that so it makes us get enough room to jump with this. Somehow the camera angles are not the greatest, as usual with this LEGO game. We found a lot of bugs and annoying little habits this game does to us. So we will be glad to finish it. Also the new games of gold have been released. And I will hopefully try and cover majority of them, depending on time. As time is my biggest burden. Anyway, once we're done, we can jump down here. Let's try not and throw it back into the water. And we can send it away. There's nothing else really exciting there. So we're going to continue on with the main story, which is obviously to get inside the library. And it looks like we need to go all the way back to the start to actually climb up, or at least there's the stairs there. Let's just use our whip to get over, because that counts towards our tally for the achievement. And we just need a character with a book. And we'll continue in. So we do need to get access to the dungeon, so we are going to have to collect all these buildables. But the good thing is, this is adding up towards our 250 buildable achievement. And here's more buildables. So we need to push this over onto the pressure pad to give us access to the sword. However, we can just change it to our foggy character because he has an infinite supply of them. But we needed the buildables anyway because that's free and that's a good amount. And here's a slow winding stairs. So we just need to throw our sword there, and there, and that will give us access to the mini kit. So we need to get access to this. Continue on. 
Doesn't matter what character we use as long as we get across safely and securely. Now we're going to get our explosive expert and he is going to give us a code. I'm going to build this as well and move it on over to the gate. Very weirdly positioned for one of these enemy territory but hey ho. And as we see there is an undercover. Let's just kill these way domain first. So as we see we're going to stand on these, it'll change a number. So the first one is 7 and that is correct. Then it should be 3. And 5. And I'll get us the next mini kit of this area. Now we're looking to be done with this area, so we're going to continue on. And let's fall down. So this is where the skeletons were that we need to find, so we are going to blow up everything we can. And we'll just access back to the area we need to go, if we need to go, sorry. There is one skeleton. This time they actually don't show us the locations of the skeleton. Or even like when you need to find the f one of three. Right, we need a character that can dig. And we'll build the fan. We're not needing it right now though. We need our fuggy character. Skeleton number three. accessed up here even though there's nothing important other than some studs and we'll continue on there is the next skeleton He didn't actually appear when we wanted to. But he's just after rats and behind the barricade on the oh, he's behind the barricade on the left. We need to get this torch. And light these. Now, last thing, well, last skeleton is after we activate this. We need to, well, we can destroy that first and go and collect the studs if we want to. But the last skeleton is actually under the water, or near the water, shall we say. Anyway, there was a mini kit. No, there's not a mini kit, this is where the last stud is, isn't it? No, there's a skeleton there.
trying to think why I thought there was a, a mini kit there, even though we didn't have any in this level. But then it was a skill, and that was why. Anyway, we'll go back and get this mini kit. Like so. So we need our Marion to climb up here. And we need Indiana Jones to come across this way. We're going to choose a small character, which is the slave child. And we need to time this right. Like so. Once up here we need to get a digger. Make us a hole and then we can go and get the next mini kit. So we need Marion again. And this will give us access to the next area. And we can see the mini kit up above. You can use that <laughs> whip swing, but I just decided to be lazy and use Marion's jump instead. Because this is in water, it's a wee bit slidey. I mean, it's not ice, but... in that somehow even though it's clear as day yeah, that's how it should be game There we go. Now we've only got one mini kit left. And that'll be in the final area. Well, actually, it's two technically. So let's get our character Stucky Bow. You know what, we'll be here all day. Let's just jump in a normal boat. Now we've got these ten boils, whatever they're called. We need to destroy them. Just go for them straight away. Don't focus on taking the enemy down uh, while you're doing this, because chances are he might actually go into you accidentally, and then you've ruined your chances at getting this. And I don't know why our co partner is playing Dodgums. Or bumper cars or whatever you people call them. I think it's dodgums. Anyway, here's the last one. And probably it'll take a while to show us where it is, even though we can see it in two seconds. And 
Because we've got one left, and that's to the right side. We're underwater for a moment there. We're going to go over here. We need to play as a female character so we can jump up there. And then we need a repair character like Jock. And we need our other character to come over. Seriously, this is where it gets real annoying with the controller. Anyway, continue on. Can we make it with a normal person? We actually can. So all we need to do is pick them up and put them across there. That may be a good idea to actually use Marion. Her jumps are better than ours. Her jumps than anyone, to be honest. Seriously. Right, let's just choose Marion to jump up here. And we are going to kill herself, but just so we don't fall off again, jump down and get the final mini kit. There's another one to destroy as well. Which will take us out here, and we're going to continue on with this level and finish it. This is one of my least favourite levels of the game. Right, now he's on the boat, we can avoid you guys because there's no point killing you. And actually, wait, there is something valuable on that, and that is buildables. Free to be exact. Which gets us the achievement, a source of unspeakable power, for building 250 Lego objects. So there we go. In the next video we could have got it, but we decided to get it now. Anyway, we've got to look for this boat and take it out. There it is. Let's go back and give them two punches. This is where it takes a while. Yes, we know where he's going. He's going to the boat. You don't have to show me the whole way there. <sighs> and there we go. We've got parcel detector. We got our artifact completely done. And we're going to go back to the college and buy the parcel detector.
These are not the characters I finished the level with. Well, Slave Child isn't. 125,000, quite expensive, but worth it in the end. And we're going to do that. Let's just go back and check to see how we're getting on with it. It should be 100% anyway, but just in case. Anyway, number one, it is fully done. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification to keep yourself updated. And if you could join my Facebook and Patreon, that'd be greatly appreciated also. Last but not least, see ya!